It's like a gotcha call. Remember those radio stages that used to do gotcha calls, Blackers? Oh, vaguely. Oh, awful, awful things. I know guys that have built careers around those. Terrible people. <laughs> it does make me giggle, though, when I go through it in my If I made you call a fruit shop and not yeah. told you it was a fruit shop and you said, is a mandarin there, I mean, would you like that? I would never make your calls for you, buddy. Yeah, but if we're doing it on air, like, oh, Kate, uh, you're new to the team. Uh, Can you just dial this number Uh, for me and ask for Amanda Ean? I mean, you just wouldn't. Well, I have in the past. Sounds like a a past life. Imagine if it was your job at a radio station as part of a show to have to sit around after your shift for hours. (laughs) to try to get one of those lame gotcha calls to work. Well, as we know, Marty, the other great thing is, what if you've finally got your golden Amandarine moment and then yeah. you say to the woman at the fruit shop, now yeah. I've recorded that, can I get your permission to put it to air? And they yeah. say no. no. So then you have to do it again to someone else. <laughs> That's the worst part. <laughs> Because um, I thought, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. So, yeah, sorry, I mate, thought the worst go, part go. was having to listen to it as a listener. <laughs> oh, that's one of the worst parts. But you're right. The worst part is when you do all that work and someone <laughs> says, "No, you can't put it to air." So then you're gonna find another fruit shop. <laughs> you know, how many fruit shops can I call? <laughs> um, is there an Amanda Reen there, please? <laughs> Sounds funny, though. No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, it's not at all, and I hate it. 